Hey guys, uh, in this video I will just show you how to use RetroStone as a desktop computer. So someone asked for a video and I realized I have not uploaded any. So, well, here we go. So I'm using my RetroStone 2 connected to a HDMI screen, which is there. So currently the HDMI signal just show the console. As you can see, that's the, the console that you get when you boot and emulation station is showing on the LCD. So right now we are working on a switch, automatic switch to the HDMI screen of the emulation station signal so that when you will plug in HDMI you will have emulation station on HDMI. So that should be ready in about one month. Um, and meanwhile you just have the console. So uh, also another thing that is not uh, currently working is the shortcut to the desktop uh, environment. So you will have a desktop mode uh, shortcut in the start menu. When you press start, you will have this desktop. Go to desktop and then you just press A and go to desktop. So that's not ready yet. Uh, on mainline there's an issue, so we are working on it. So you just need to connect a USB keyboard and a mouse here my, my mouse is wireless and then uh, with the keyboard you press F4 which will uh, exit emulation station and as you can see I'm back on uh, on the console and so here you can press start X press enter and it will launch the it will launch the disk the disk of the interface so on the desktop interface, the, the HDMI is uh, correctly set up, so you can use it uh, as a dual display. Here you have the main display, which is HDMI, and the secondary display, which is the small LCD here. And of course, you can change that if you want just duplicate the LCD or if you want just uh, to move around a different layout. But as you can see, here is my main display on HDMI. And then when I well go on the side, you can see it's appearing on the secondary display. So that's working very well here. And um, and well, that's it. So I will just show you the how to go to the display settings. If you go to settings and then display, here you can choose where each screen is uh, is located. Uh, and you can choose the which is the primary display, the secondary display, and, and the resolution for both of them. So, well, that's pretty much it.